you ready for what's ahead in your day. Right from coast to coast, the Weather Channel has you covered. Uh, kind of like we're covered in the clouds yeah, here yeah, in, exactly. in parts of the Northeast. Yeah, oh. It's not looking so great in across New England. I mean, talk about a non-beach day. Wait, is that a bird or a person? Ooh, I'm not sure. It almost looks like it could be two people. It could be two people. I don't know. Wow. Either way, it's not a fun time for them. But, I mean, I guess if you're at the beach, you can Maybe, maybe they it. like that kind of thing. Yeah. yeah. One of my earliest experiences, actually, uh, with the Atlantic Ocean was at Nauset Beach when I was little. Oh, and, wow. Yeah, and it was a rough day like that. Uh, you went back again after that? <laughs> I know, right? Can you believe it? It was a great time. I love the coast of uh, Massachusetts. It's yeah. beautiful. Well, we're going to talk more about what's happening here um, on the coast. There's a couple issues, and actually not just coastal concerns for your vacation, but um, we could have some travel issues, so we'll get to that, too. But of of course, the tropics. Yes. Uh, I mean, <laughs> things have quieted down a bit, and now we may be seeing a resurgence of uh, activity and getting going in the Western Caribbean and the Gulf of Mexico. Yeah, in the coming days. And actually, if you look at the satellite pictures right now, there's a flare-up of thunderstorms that wasn't there yesterday. Remember yeah. we were talking about clear skies? Yeah. Yes. Over this very same area, it's a lot of thunderstorm activity, a lot of lightning going on. I'm not sure that's the disturbance that ultimately emerges. But oh, something's happening. Something's happening down yeah. there. Yeah. Something to keep an eye on. We have a lot to talk about today when it comes to the tropics. A lot of times we talk about these coastal floods when we talk about the tropics. That's not the case up here today, but we are watching the tropics. We are watching the tropics, and we're seeing a bit more activity in some of the areas that we were watching uh, than we saw yesterday. So right. they're per And it's that first weekend of the fall. <laughs> yeah, right, but it doesn't go. come until Sunday at like okay, eight something true. in the morning. Okay, so. we'll give we'll give a fall yeah. break. Literally, like hanging on to summer, <laughs> like you're hanging off the side of a boat or something. Oh my goodness, crazy, crazy. Well, of course, you know, it's one of the best Ooh. states. My goodness. Well, you can check out some of the best videos of the day when we reveal the Weather Gone Viral Top 5 this afternoon. It's going to be that day. Yeah. And at some point, we're going to want four days. In fact, my comment was, why don't we just have three-day work weeks? Jen. <laughs> I mean, you might be on to something. <laughs> Let's do it. We, we put this question out there like something's imminent. Or, no, there's nothing no, happening there's here. Nothing imminent. Although I will say they did a test trial in the UK. Mm -hmm. uh, I think there was like 61 different companies that did this, this, this test trial. And just earlier this year, I think it's something like 90% of those companies, they, they continued the four-day week. Oh. And something like uh, over half have made it a permanent change. Wow. So the so test trial worked. It was productive. I mean, because yeah. money talks ultimately. Exactly. Yeah, interesting. All right, keep those comments coming. It's actually not so flat prairie. We had to bring in the experts. The Flint Hills Discovery Center is your one-stop shop to learn. Oh, all it's one of his favorite yeah, places in yeah. Kansas, so can't wait to explore it. Absolutely. Well, of course, America's Morning, America's Morning Headquarters where tropical systems can originate from. Kind of go through the origin stories, the possible ones. Yeah, there's so many different ways that it can happen out there. Now, we haven't seen too many of those mm -hmm. this season so far, but we still have a bit of season to go. You know what's fascinating about this map, which looks so simple? They are dangerous. <laughs> That's so true because, you know, a front over warm water will carry the ingredients to support tropical development. They have mm -hmm. that wind pattern around them that is kind of gently curving around counterclockwise. They collect thunderstorms, and you get the rest. I mean, we just saw that. Now, it didn't end up turning into a tropical cyclone. It was that potential tropical cyclone brought right. all that heavy rain there into uh, North Carolina. That's right. That was what PTC ate, Eight. I think. Mm -hmm. We actually saw it, though, back in um, 2016 with Bonnie. It was a tropical storm, oh. American Gyre or the Monsoon Trough, whatever you want to call it, just sort of like a big area of general storminess that can congeal into areas of organized tropical weather. Yeah, and there's a couple of ways it can do that. There are various modes of it. Mm -hmm. And maybe the area to watch mm -hmm. that we've got now in the Caribbean has something to do with that. So there's mm -hmm. conditions already in place for development if it gets an extra kick by this jet stream that's coming in. Right. So that brings us to now and our area to watch. And so, look, it's a large zone. It extends from the Western Caribbean into the Gulf of Mexico. Yeah, huge area where we could see this thing developing. So it's impossible for us to say, you know, what's going to develop, how strong it's mm -hmm. going to be, where it's going to be going now, right now, because nothing is there right now, but we see the general area where things mm -hmm. could get going, firing up.